Today we have one of our full body, total body, bodybuilding days. Uh, with today's workout though, it's pretty complicated. It's one that you guys will have, I would, I would encourage you to have the, the workout up. It's gonna be hard to remember. It's actually hard for me to remember even though I wrote the workout. I'm gonna have to refer back to the sheet a few times because we have complexes with each movement. So the first one is for our legs, it's a dumbbell deadlift complex. And it's 100 total reps. The first 25 are gonna be dual dumbbell deadlifts where we just touch the top heads to the deck. The next 25, so I encourage you to try and hit a full set of 25. The next 25 are almost gonna be like a deficit trap bar deadlift where we're gonna touch both heads to the ground. So we're going a couple inches lower. And then, the next 50 reps is just gonna be a single dumbbell where we're gonna go ahead and just touch one head to the ground, but we're fighting leaning to one side. You can make it a little easier if I just kinda of lean over. We wanna really fight that counter rotation and try and stay as neutral as possible. 25 on the right, 25 on the left to finish that dumbbell complex. So for our chest, we've got push-ups. So we're gonna do this in a few different ways. We've got 25 standard push-ups, 25 diamond push-ups, Twenty-five offset with the right hand up. Twenty-five offset with the left hand up. For a hundred total reps. So we're doing four different types of push-ups today. Um, should light us up pretty good. This now with those twenty-fives in sets. You don't have to do that, but what I would caution you to do, put a 10 minute cap on this and try and accumulate with really good form, even if you're going down to fives and threes, getting as deep as possible and trying to hit really good reps with all those push-ups. Okay. So, next thing, a, a move that I think is extremely valuable. I don't program it often enough and I don't do it often enough. But it really helps, especially us CrossFit athletes, open up that upper thoracic. Helps with things like bar muscle ups. It's gonna be a dumbbell pullover. So if you have a bench or a box or something, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay back, put that dumbbell on our chest. We're gonna go ahead and go over and then pull that dumbbell over with our lats. And we're just simply trying to accumulate 100 reps with the weight we feel like we can control, okay? So even if we're doing, say, sets of 10, that works, hit 10, rest, hit 10 more, going for 100 total reps. Next move, dumbbell upright rows, another one that I feel like we don't get enough out of. And we're accumulating 100, Go ahead and switch arms as necessary so you can hit 10 and then 10 and just switch back and forth with a single dumbbell. And it's 100 total reps, 50 on each side. Awesome, okay, so the next one, this is a fun one, bicep curls. We've got 25 dual dumbbell bicep curls. Now again, a lot of us doing this program, it's a minimalist program, we don't have a million different weights. So again, put a, cap, a time cap on it, maybe 10 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and try and work through this 100. 25 sets of bicep curls is really hard to do with anything but really light weights. So go ahead, break this up into sets. So this might take you three sets to get 25. And then the next one is 25 hammer curls. And then we've got 25 single dumbbell right arm curls. And then 25 single arm left arm. 
curls to finish. <clears throat> All right. Triceps. A hundred bench dips. We want to set this up in a way we can do a lot of reps in a set. So we're looking to finish these up in 10 or less sets. So something you can crank through minimally 10 in a row for sustained sets. Uh, set it up so these aren't super challenging because 100 reps is a lot. Almost through this, so our ab circuit, awesome, 100 reps. And I want you to move through this pretty quick. So we've got 25 sit-ups. Something we do a ton of in this program. 25 V-ups. If these are challenging for you, you could do alternating V-ups. But we're gonna lay flat. And the way I like to do it is lead with my arms and meet with my feet. Or if those are really challenging, we can alternate. And then we've got 25 bicycle sit-ups, two, three, four, five. So we're just one counting these. And then we are gonna go ahead and four count 25 flutter kicks. So one, two, three, one. So every time we flutter four times, that is one rep. And we're looking to just get a nice ab burn at the end of this workout. This one today will smoke you head to toe. It's probably gonna take anywhere from 60 to 70 minutes. Again, put those 10 minute time caps on. If you can't get it done in that time, just move on to the next movement. Hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you next time.